diving time. Dumpster diving time sake. And we got this from the dumpster, didn't we? We got a couple of computers, didn't we? These are rack yeah. mount computers. Yeah. Let's check them out. What they're um obviously, you know, like they've <laughs> served their uh, natural life and they've obviously dumped them. There was actually uh, two of these and one of these ones as well as a couple of old uh, uh, desktop PCs as well. But we didn't get the uh, desktop PCs because, well, the, I didn't even look at the uh, specs or processor in them. But, uh, yeah, when they have just a standard VGA connector on the back, I don't touch them. So if they don't have a DVI, that's pretty much my rule. There's a couple of these older ones. Obviously, uh, server machines, dual processor, no doubt dual processor uh, Xeons. And... Uh, dual network cards as well but you know this is like a fairly old motherboard no uh pci you know like modern pci express usb 3 you know yeah it's got a bunch of sata and uh stuff down there but no uh hard drives of course they typically take the hard drives out and although they have left the uh dvd uh drive or yeah it's a dvd burner and in one of these uh, machines, ta-da, look at the RAM I scored. These are all uh, four gig sticks. So there's 24 gig of uh, RAM. It's the old, I believe it's the older style uh, DDR2, is it? But uh, you know, still, okay. Uh, I don't think it's, is it ECC or whatever. Anyway, 24 gigs of RAM, absolute yeah. score. Um, but yeah, only on one of these uh, boxes. So I don't know why the other one was empty. Anyway, we've got dual uh, Nick cards in here so can have a look at that i don't know what uh one that is no idea what's that brand oh intel is it there we go two intel nick cards excellent so this was obviously actually i know that uh one of these actually this one here was used as a uh, database uh server because it had a these things usually have stickers on the front to tell you and this one was an app uh, server as you may have uh, saw a sticker on the front so running some sort of apps another one running database all various things but this one missing its power supply but check this puppy out but this one I was really interested in getting because look it's a modern uh, LGA 136 socket 1366 uh, uh, processor which means uh, socket which means it's going to most likely going to be an Intel Core i7 and if you, you may have seen me I'm not sure if it was the exact one I scored uh, last time but I did score one of these and I've been using it as a live PC and various other things and it is a bit of a beast so I, I reckon odds on this is an Intel Core i7 under here sadly no memory in it but it's got USB uh, 3 so it's an Asus uh, brand so excellent and it's the p6x 580e there you go i'll link it in uh down below but yeah usb 3 as soon as you see usb 3 and you start seeing the uh pcix uh times 16 slots and everything else you know it, you know it's worth grabbing but uh sadly motherboards like this well sadly for testing purposes doesn't have a vga output which the other one uh does which just allows you to actually boot the thing and just see if it works or not so we've got uh firewire you know a bit of an old school nowadays uh firewire interface and it's got this still got the old school uh, ps2 mouse and uh, serial ports but usb3 ports fantastic but yeah to get this puppy up and not, up and running not only do we need power supply although we might be able to use the substitute the power supply from the other one but we need a vga card as well but yeah i've got a few of those lying around so maybe we can power this one up yeah let's do it daddy let's do it yeah yeah let's see if we got the right stuff for it Okay, you ready, Sagan? Yeah. Yeah, all right, turn it on. Switch it on. There should be a, a switch inside here, yeah? So, look. <gasps> there we go. You see the power switch? All right. Whoa! Oh, there's a dual Xeon sticker. There we go. Okay. Let's see if it does anything. Yeah, it sounds like a jet fighter starting up, or not quite, but oh, those bearings are gone. But uh, getting nothing on the screen. Let me see if I got the right input. We got the right input. Oh, yes, yes, we're in. Azus server. There we go. Ta da! Delete to run setup. Yes, we're in. Is it working? It's working, Sagan. Yeah. 
look at this. I only put in uh, eight gigs of RAM back only. Now we know it's working. It works. Beauty. Okay, it's found some LSI Logic uh, SAS thing. I don't know all this networking mumbo jumbo. But here we go. Yeah, there we go. E54. There we go. We had it there. Oh, can we see it in here? I don't think so. We had it there for a second. Processor information. There we go. We've got two Intel Xeon 2 gig uh, E5405. I don't know. Are they any good? So I just went and checked and they have a CPU uh, pass mark benchmark, which is, you know, a rough figure that I use to uh, compare processors um, of, of around about 2900. So, you know, it's not too shabby, um, especially when you've got two uh, Xeons there. So these came out in uh, 2007, end of life in 2010 or thereabouts, according to uh, Intel. So, you know, uh, four cores a pop, you know, uh, high up is still a pass mark of 2900. Eh, it's still a reasonable, uh, you know, server Xeon processor. No worries about it. You know, you've got two of them, so there's eight physical cores. Yeah, but, you know, power consumption-wise, yeah, it's a power hog. But anyway, it's a winner, isn't it, Sagan? Give us a thumbs up. Yeah. Okay, let's now try this one, which I think is a Core i7. I've got a video card in there. Just put in some memory, so... Let's uh, turn this one on, Sagan, but uh, it doesn't have a power supply in there, so I'm actually piggybacking the power supply from this one over. So, if fingers crossed, switch this on. There we go. There we go. Well, we don't know yet, Sagan. It's, booted. it's, uh, it's powered on, but uh, the VGA card didn't plug it. Hey, hello! Hello! Ta-da! It works, Sagan! Delete, delete. Ta-da! We're in like Flynn! This one works as well. What have we got? What have we got? Ta-da! Told ya! Intel Core i7 950 at 3.07 gig. You ripper! And that one's a bit of a, still a bit of a beast, even though it comes from uh, 2009 vintage. The uh, i7-950 at 3 point, uh, just over 3 gig is around about 5600 on the pass mark. So, you know, technically better than the uh, Xeon uh, processor in that respect. So, what a Bobby Dazzler. There you go. Although, it's once again, it's a complete power hog. This thing's like 100... 130 watts or something it's you know it's nothing like the modern uh core yeah. i7s but yeah what a winner dumpster die these pcs seem to work you know no long-term soak testing or anything like that but hey that motherboard you could resell that on ebay the processors maybe you could resell on ebay this motherboard definitely you could resell that with the working processor on ebay that's probably what i might do actually um because i've got yeah, machines coming out the wazoo here, and you'd have to buy a case. The server case is no good uh, for this thing unless you wanted it as a uh, server. Then you'd get a new uh, power supply for it, and you know, and maybe you can get it running, but you need new fans and you know, stuff like that. But that's not a big deal. But yeah, just the motherboard on its own. Thumbs up, Sagan. Another winner. Another winner. Beauty, give me a two thumbs up. Yeah, two thumbs. Their finger, no, their fingers, give me thumbs. Give me thumbs. That's it. So there you go. There's yet another successful uh, dumpster dive. In fact, because I said I could get uh, two of these dual pro dual Xeon uh, ones, I could go rip the CPUs out of those. They're probably worth anything. If they're worth anything on eBay, I haven't actually checked. I might go do that now, actually. And as uh, suspected, I just checked on eBay. And yeah, the uh, Core i7-950 still goes anywhere from 50 to to 100 uh, Australian dollars anyway. Um, their actual uh, sold prices on eBay within the last uh, couple of months. And, but these uh, Xeon, these old Xeon processors, no, uh, next to worthless. Their novelty value, you know, like $3 or something, so, you know, $10 or whatever. So, you know, uh, maybe somebody wants to serve a motherboard for, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks or something with the dual processors. I don't know, the RAM's probably not worth much, old DDR2, even though it is 24 gig but anyway there you go hope you enjoyed that that's yet another successful yep. old computer dumpster dive and for those 
wondering, this is a commercial office building with many, many dozens of businesses filling uh, several buildings here, all using the same dumpster room. This is not something that's publicly accessible. You've got to be a resident of the building. You've got to have a key to get into the dumpster room. So, no, sorry, but uh, these dumpster rooms are quite common in these uh, commercial office uh, complexes and buildings and things like that. They'll all have a community uh, dumpster room, pretty much. So, yeah. And we get lots of, there's obviously computer companies here, and we get lots of uh, computer uh, throwouts and things like that. Perfectly working Core i7 computers. You know, you can game on this thing. You know, there's a lot of people out there, I know a lot of viewers, who'd, you know, who'd kill to have a Core i7, um, you know, in countries where they're still expensive and hard to get. So there you go. Anyway, <laughs> if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Oh, two thumbs up. Yeah. Catch you next time.